Welcome everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to uh, discuss application to the Boston Home Mortgage Disclosure Act data using Stata. So you can download this data from Stock and Watson Introduction to Econometrics Chapter 11. You can download the do file of Stata from the same uh, same same uh, uh, same place. So there are variables which are, which are which we have discussed in previous video and uh, also uh, use in this video uh, while applying through Stata payment income ratio, house expense to payment uh, income ratio, loan to value ratio, personal credit history, the loan to value ratio if greater than uh, eighty percent, greater than ninety five percent, less than eighty percent, and uh, uh, similarly there are financial variables like uh, as i mentioned uh, mortgage credit score public bad credit score consumer credit score there are some other variables like self-employed uh, self-employed single high school diploma unemployment and in this video i am going to construct these six columns using stata using stata and we try to find out this final row that how do uh, how do a person having all values at average but if he is black will be denied loan versus if all these values are at average and person is white that's what i am going to do using stata so please be with me uh, we have this stata uh, uh, do file you can do, download it from stock and watson and i am going to construct uh, these variables using these commands which are given in this do file so you can up to this i am i am going to just run these selected commands so now you see uh, we want to calculate the a uh, probability that a person who is black will be denied loan probability that person is white denied loan for given value of payment income ratio for this more on this you can watch previous video so i am going to use here one way is use data hand calculator and you you create here coefficients and then so the payment income ratio and multiply it with average value black one constant and all that Another very simple way is in Stata is to calculate, uh, is to use command margins. Margins at black equal 1 and at means, at means means you are using payment income ratio average. So the person who is black will be denied loan, 25% uh, probability that he will be denied loan. And now if the same person is white, will be denied loan zero and you will have eight percent chances that person is uh, 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 denied loan with uh, white race uh, with same uh, uh, with average uh, in, uh, uh, that is 0 0.33 payment income ratio is 0 0.087 and the difference between these two you may call it is racial discrimination but it's too prim it's too early to jump at this result because there are so many other variables like consumer credit score your uh, public uh, uh, bad credit uh, uh, bad credit record, uh, record your employment level your marital status and other demographic social social variables so i am going to be, uh, uh, basically run some more commands here to calculate uh, uh, to include those variables so we have constructed some more variables here we have constructed okay before i go to that uh, please uh, how do we calculate these uh, marginal plots as well so you can use margins at black equal one Payment income ratio for different values. Payment income ratio at various values equal to let's 0.1 and we take a gap of 0.11 up to 0.9. So and now we calculate margins plot. Margins plot. So you see here you have a plot 
and with confidence interval lower the loan value ratio lower the probability that you will be denied loan higher the loan value ratio payment income ratio higher the probability you will be denied loan but now we compare it with uh, with white with white and you see this confidence interval this this value is 0.8 this is uh, 0.9 this is 0.7 this is 0.6 this is 0.4 for uh, these point, uh, these uh, against these payment income ratios means these are the probabilities on vertical axis that you will be denied not though you observe always zero or one but we calculate these probabilities now let's do the same thing for white race and just replace black equal to zero and just run this uh, margin commands again so you see this this graph is different than the previous one so it shows that there is there is uh, 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 there is difference between uh, black and white uh, uh, loan approval and denial rates. Uh, but there are so many other variables which can be potential omitted variables. So we need to include those variables in our model. So to include those variable models, we calculate these uh, all these variables and we generate these variables you can uh, you can please go through those stock and watson data and i okay one way of calculating these predicted probabilities is to use this uh, scalar this uh, you see black zero uh, payment income ratio with average point pp and then next coefficient with average value next coefficient with average value so you calculate these pro uh, these values these probabilities predicted probabilities by using this procedure and i am going to use it uh, you, you uh, do the same with okay scalar so this comes out to be 0 0.060 but if you use the margin command that is very simple margins at black equal 1 at means all other values are at means so you see this is 0 0.1307 which is the same here 0 0.1307 which is 0 0.1307 and similarly if you you calculate it margins 0 so it will be 0 0.07 the same as we have and the difference between these two will be the difference between these two will be 0 0.0604 which we have displayed in our final row of table as I have shown you in PowerPoint slides. So similarly you can you can use other commands as well and uh, at the moment I am going to just uh, okay for each model I am going to I am using EST STO that's that uh, helps me at the end to generate all these regression models in tabular form this is your column 3 of PowerPoint and uh, table 2 chapter 11 of stock and Watson you can run this uh, uh, all this Okay, I am not very much concerned about this. So again, you see, instead of calculating all this using this very long formula by uh, 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 using data, other utilities just go to statistics, post estimation results, and calculate marginal means, marginal effects, and uh, or use the command directly. You can use here command margins and all that, which I have explained. You can ex uh, uh, make a margin plot with confidence intervals, margin plot without confidence intervals. That, that depends what is your requirement. So finally, now we are going to generate this, these six columns in tabular form, EST, EAB. And so these are your six columns, which I have shown you. So in, in this case, what do we say? And we have the final row. The final row which we, we have to calculate for each one separately. For this one is simple. Uh, this is linear uh, probability model. 8% is the dif difference between black and white. This is not 0.688, but you have to calculate it by margins. Uh, black equal to 1, other values at mean. And black equal to 0, other values at mean. Uh, this is payment income ratio 4.7 uh, uh, this is 0 0.449 uh, 
Uh, here you have to calculate basically these, these, these will be used as you have to use logistic function. For this you have to use prob, uh, normal distribution function. Here you, uh, these four are just variations of model 3. So uh, these coefficients don't interpret it directly. Okay, one more thing. You can also use calculate if you use logistic. If you use the command logistic, that is if you use logic, deny black pi rat robust standard errors so this is the case if you want to calculate odds ratio use logistic logit okay let's repeat the same command instead of writing all just you can use here or so now you have odds ratios now you have odds ratios or you can use logistic here you can use logistic so again you have odds ratios here with robust standard error so it depends that and what are odds odds are basically probability of p over divided by 1 minus p and then you can calculate the ratios you can work with that uh, i hope uh, you have got the main point that how you can calculate uh, logic probit and uh, uh, linear probability model how do we compare it for boston data and above all using margins command is very useful uh, for calculating predicted probabilities uh, in this uh, logistic model or probit model. Thank you for watching. Take care.